Hey what's up it's Tim and today I have an unboxing for you guys so uh, let's get started here which today I'm gonna be unboxing the iPhone XS Max so um let's get started so here, um, here's the box as you can see this is the XS Max <coughs> So, anyways, we're going to do a, a review of it, but as you can see. So, here is, this is the picture of the phone. And you would see here, I don't think, I think, I don't think you guys would see, but this would indicate that it, I got the gold color. If you got silver, you got, this would be silver. Space gray, it would be space gray. You know, same with logos here, which I got gold. So anyways, this is the phone, but I could, I could barely see it in person too easily. So here, here's the uh, picture of the phone. And now let's go to the side. We got iPhone, the Apple logo. It's also in uh, the gold as well. And we got iPhone and another Apple logo. And now let's go to the under it which I'm going to try to cover up the serial number because that's a lot of things and on the top here there's a this is the 250 gig model it has a uh, the contents that comes with it and all that stuff and I'm trying to cover up the serial number so anyways before we open it up I'm going to give you a comparison of the of the other phone, uh, the phone boxes of one of my previous phones. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause. So here's a comparison of the 6s box that I'm currently uh, using for this vi video taping and the and my very old iPhone 5s box. As you can see, the difference in of them is as you can see the heights and this uh, thickness. But Here you see some thickness to them. See 5s, 6s, and an XS Max, and you can see that's the that's the thickness. And you can see it's scaled up, and also the heights as well. So anyways, let's go and um, so anyways, let's go ahead and um, let's see, open this box up and we'll show what's inside. And another thing I didn't, I think what I didn't say is uh, uh, that I got this from uh, T-Mobile. So yeah, which I switched from Sprint to T-Mobile. And I'm gonna explain why probably nearly in the end of the video. So. Here we go. Designed by Apple in California. And this is a envelope that has the contents. We have the SIM card ejection tool. Okay. Hello. Which is a some pen. Which just shows you about the about powering off and the SOS thing. The side buttons, tips charging and welcome to iPhone which shows you about the face ID thing the home how you get the home and the control center and it shows you other controls like the volume buttons the mute switch tap to wake and the 3d touch let's see how this works You see, when you tap on it, it taps to wake. So yeah, which I already got the phone out of the box because I, I just set it up yesterday. So anyways, let's go. Ahead. And also we got a uh, warranty and safety information guide, and two Apple stickers. Wow, I have a lot of Apple stickers. And also, 
Now let's go take a look at the contents. Since I already left it up, you know, that I already activated it. And also, here's the uh, 5 volt um, power adapter. I think it is. But I won't be using this because I have plenty of them. And also, I don't. And also, I have something that's faster to charge the charge the phone. So I'm gonna put this back in the box. Here we have the uh, ear pods here, since they don't come with a carrying case like like what I have right here. You know, I am. This is the carrying case that I had, but this one does not come with it. So, anyways. Instead of the uh, 3.5 millimeter jack, since this phone does not have a headphone jack, they do have this uh, lightning adapter to connect to these earbuds. But again, I won't use them, even though, which unfortunately, I, this phone does not come with the <coughs> lightning, the 3.5 millimeter jack anymore. Which I don't know why, but set this to the side. And we got lightning the USB cable to charge and sync it to your computer. So I don't need that. Since I have plenty of them and I have better one better quality. So anyways, let's go ahead and clear this out and then we'll take you to the phone. Alright, so now here's the phone. As you can see it's in this black front panel, which this is the only color they have. They don't have it in white, so I'm sorry, I was gonna decide about that, but they, but oh well, I'm out of luck, so. Anyways, this is the <coughs> phone, this is the front screen. It's a, this is a, I think, six point something, just six point one inches. So, let me go and uh, look at the, look at the specs. How many inches is this phone? But I'll say, I'll, but there is the earpiece and sensor and also the uh, FaceTime camera. Which the camera, however, is a um, I think it's a five megapixel camera or eight megapixel. I think it is. But the front, it's capable of 1080p. So. So the front, I think it's like about 8 megapixels, I think, probably 12 like the back. But the back camera, hmm, no not, okay, I think I figured out it's the, uh, it's about 7 megapixels, uh, 1080p. So, it's a f2.2 aperture and all that stuff, and it's uh, 1080p video recording, uh, either 30 or 60 frames per second, S you know, stabilization, and all that stuff. So that's the front, and there's a speaker, and since this is the follow-up of the iPhone X, from last year, they still don't do the home button. But however, do this, as I said earlier, it wakes your phone up. And I wasn't kidding that I was on T-Mobile, which I did the switch from Sprint to T-Mobile. Come on, why isn't this thing focusing? All right, there we go. There it is, I'm on T-Mobile. See, T-Mobile. So let's, so now let's go ahead and take an overview of the other sides. All right, hold on, it's getting too dark. Okay, good, I just gotta focus it. Over here is uh, the microphone. I think it would be stereo speaker, but probably the microphone. There's the uh, lightning connector with two screws flanking them and a speaker. 
But this one can also be a the front facing speaker, which it is really loud. Anyways, and here are the sides, and on this side, come on, focus, man. Thank you. There's the uh, SIM cards. There's the slot for the SIM card, which this uses a nano SIM. Uh, there's the sleep wake button, and the top there's basically nothing. On the other side, there's the uh, mute switch, and the, and the volume controls, and that's it. And also on the back, this camera here is a 12 megapixel camera, which is capable of recording in 4K, 60 frames per second. So it has a wide angle 1.8 aperture, ap, aperture and a telephoto of 2.4 aperture and two times like optical zoom and digital zoom up to 10. So it does both uh, like portrait and uh, landscaping. And it has uh, a lot of um, things. And this has a quad LED true tone flash. And it has dual optical image stabilization and panorama. And this has the uh, sapphire crystal lens. So, illumination sensors, auto focusing, and you, all the other stuff. Smart HDR. And also has a burst mode and timer mode. And over here, you can see it's made out of glass, which it's instead of aluminum. Which, it's glass follow from last year's iPhone XS. I'm sorry, not iPhone XS. iPhone X. And, um, last year's iPhone 8 and 8 Plus. Which is also glass, but instead of aluminum like the 7, 7 Plus, or, or, or earlier. As you can see, this is the Apple logo. And iPhone. So now let's take a review. And how the face ID thing works. Let me show you. Yeah, some reason. Let's see. If it if it fails several times, like what's happening to me, you gotta put in your passcode, which I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. So let me do it again. All right, once ever, once it finally when it, once it recognizes your face, this thing unlocks. Well, and then swipe up. And there you go, your phone's unlocked. And let's show you what we get to do. See, I don't know why why my phone will do landscape, but I don't know how to enable that. But if you guys do know, you drop a comment down for me, and then I can try try to figure it out, or I would try to look it up on the internet. But let's see, what's follow up from that they added on the 6s and 6s plus was this uh, 3D touch thing and all that stuff. Let's see. Let me lower the brightness, but in order for this, uh, this uh, menu here, this instead of sliding up, you do this on the top right corner of the, the screen. Yeah, the top right corner where the uh, where the um, where the service reception signal and the uh, Wi-Fi and battery indicator thing. You take one finger and. And do it slowly. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go on more to brightness so you guys can see. <clears throat> and also for the drop down menu for like your notifications and all this stuff, put your finger on the top left corner where the clock is. And there you go. It has notifications. And it shows the clock and the date and all this stuff. And it shows the name of the carrier, which it's T-Mobile. So let me go ahead and bring that back up. 
And then let's see what we can do. Let's see. For Siri. If you want to do Siri, you can just do this. Hey Siri. What's the weather like outside? It's currently partly cloudy and 55 degrees in Philadelphia. Okay. Or if you don't want us to say that, you can just uh, hold down the sleep wake button. Hey Siri. Yes. Um, did the Eagles? Hold on. Did the Eagles won on Thursday? The Eagles crushed the Giants by a score of thirty-four to thirteen last Thursday. Okay. And there you go. But you know, from the previous phones, you'd be saying that you want to shut down the phone. But in order to shut it down, you gotta hold this, hold the volume down button and the sleep wake button at the same time, like this. Watch this. You can slide the power off. E emergency SMS, and then cancel. Alright, let me go ahead and put back my passcode. Just sign right back in. And now, if you want a screenshot, push the um, volume up button and the sleep wake button at the same time like this. And there you go. So, And also, from the bottom, this is on iOS uh, 12. If you're done, you can edit it. Like, let's say you crop it or any other things here. And also this, you can share, uh, let's see, you can send it to messages. You can uh, uh, enable these features like, like Facebook. You can send it to a friend on Facebook Messenger. And I think put it up on Instagram, Skype, and uh, share it with, on Skype. And uh, s probably send it to someone on Snapchat. And this button is text. Signature magnifier and all that stuff. And also, if you're done, you can undo, redo. If you're done, hit done. You can have these choices. You can save the photos and delete the screenshot. In my case, I'm going to delete it. So here's the thing. Let's see what other features are there besides that. And also, this has a, um, it says optical image stabilization. Let's see, you can do burst mode like this. Hey, let me, oops. Let me turn it up. Let me turn on the sound so you can demonstrate. Yeah, first it starts out slow and then. And then let me do the same thing with the burst selfies. See, and also we got a uh, portrait mode. Let me change it back. We got a uh, square, and we got panorama mode. Uh, we got video mode, which I'm on 1080p 60 frames per second. So, and and same thing here. It's really smooth when you're on a uh, on the front-facing camera. Yeah, and we got slow mo, which this is in a uh, 240 frames per second and 1080p instead of 720, like. The previous models, and we got a uh, time lapse. So slow mo and video mode is really smooth. As you can see, I'm doing 1080p 60 frames per second, but I'll show you what we'll do. We're gonna go on. Um, let's see. We're gonna go to photo and video thing. Let me find the camera. Okay, go to camera. And you got a lot of, um, you only got two options for uh, 
1080p video where there's 240 frames per second and 120 frames per second in slow-mo which is for 1080p and now let's see we got we can record in stereo sounds there's smart hdr keep normal photos if you like for video recording you got 720 and 30 frames per second 1080 and 30 frames per second and this is the one i'm selecting because it's a smoother you can do 24 frames per second for 4K, 30, and um, 60. So, I'll give you an example how smooth is uh, 60. So, you can, as you can see, it's really smooth as well. But, I'll give you a demonstration of the... Um, of the 60 frames per second in 1080p so let me go ahead and pause and um, show you via the front so I'm gonna go ahead and pause and switch to this camera and this is the uh, video from the iPhone XS Max in 1080p 60 frames per second let's see which one do you think has the camera better this is the iPhone XS Max the iPhone 6s iPhone XS max and now it's the iPhone 6s so anyways this is what the camera looks like so anyways that's the cameras and now we're gonna show you this how you exit out you swipe up and then it exits but if you want it on app switching mode there you go or let me do something like this it switches and there you go and let's go back to app switching and let me close out these apps and there you go and so now let me uh, give you a, a test on about the of the LTE that I've been using, which I'm in, I'm on a T-Mobile. So let me go ahead and turn Wi-Fi off and open up the speed test app. All right, so let me pick it up and give you a speed test. This is in my home office, my downstairs office. So. Here we go. So this is the sp this is the downloads on uh, T-Mobile. Holy cow, that's faster! This is really really fast. Sixty six point nine uh, megabits on the uh, downloads. Twenty five milliseconds on the ping, and we're getting about twenty. Megabits per second on the uploads, right? So that's on a LTE in my home office with T-Mobile. So, uh, these are the results I've been getting. I've done them on some other places. I've done them outdoors. This is the fastest I get on a T-Mobile's um, LTE network. Way faster than my Sprint in my... Way faster than Sprint that I had in my home office. And now let me go ahead and uh, disconnect and, and connect to Wi-Fi and show, show you how fast it is on Wi-Fi. Alright, now I'm on Wi-Fi. I'm connected to the 5 gigahertz on my uh, gigabit internet connection with Fios. And let's see how fast it is. Holy cow. And I'm hitting about... Over 400 megabits on the downloads, and the 13 milliseconds on the ping, and 367 megabits per second on the uploads. So this is on a uh, my Verizon Fios, um, uh, five gigahertz network, which is on the uh, um, which is the uh, uh, gigabit connection with them. So. I got this is what I got so far and now 
Let's see. Which, this is another reason about switching from Sprint to T-Mobile is that another, is that the uh, um, speed of T-Mobile? Well, you don't know. But the planes were cheaper on T-Mobile. But we got this on uh, about, I think, a thousand something. I can't remember the actual price, but this is a lot of money here, which, this is, um, let's see, um, monthly. But anyways, um, uh, let's see. We're going to show you how fast, um, internet goes on this by going on, uh, Google. Let's go on Google, and it's really fast. And we're going to show you how loud the uh, speaker is. So we're going to play my video on YouTube. Because I don't want to use anybody saying that, why do you use my video? And I don't, which I don't want to get copyrighted for that, so let me use my video and play Here it is. And then play on full volume. And I think so. So, okay. Well, I hope you guys um enjoyed this video. Um see i'm gonna say um thanks for watching and um if you enjoy it give this video a thumbs up and uh drop a comment down below on this video and also hit the subscribe button for more future content coming up and it's, i know it's been a while i haven't been making any too much of videos but i am this is a day i'm returning so uh for this video so uh yeah and also, um, follow me on Instagram, Tempo20411. So, um, yeah, uh, so this is all I got. So, thanks for watching.